Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Faith Connection 777. This is going to be a general reading for you guys for August 1st through the 7th, 2020. Hope you are doing well. What is going on with Gemini Spirit? August 1st through 7th, 2020. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so not all of the messages here will resonate. If they do, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's get right into it. Gemini, what is going on? We've got the initiation rite of passage, crossing the threshold, okay? Many of you are going through a really hard time right now, perhaps in relationship, perhaps in, with job, and um, but also understanding that there may be a light at the end of the tunnel, okay? You're definitely going through, uh, many of you, tough cycles right now, okay? We have the soul family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Yeah. Okay. Reach out for help, you guys. Look to your friends and family for support, okay? You don't have to be by yourself. Um, reach out, okay? All right, so I'm going to pull from this Mystic Mondays tarot to get a better idea of what's going on with Gemini. Recent past, current energies, and immediate future. August 1st through the 7th, 2020. Messages of light and love for Gemini. What messages does, do Gemini need to hear? Okay, recent past, Gemini, wow, right off the bat. Here we have Queen of Pentacles, okay. Recent past, we have a very strong feminine energy here coming through. We have the Ace of Cups, okay. Some kind of new love, a refreshing cycle perhaps with this person. Um, or you could be straight up a new person that you've gotten to know lately. Whether that's love, work, partnership, family, what, or family. Yeah, somebody may have had a baby. I mean, that's possible. Recent past for Gemini. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups, okay. Wow, we got two queens here. I will clarify what's going on with another deck, current energy. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. We have the Seven of Wands, some kind of conflict you're dealing with here. Okay, wow. We have the Knight of Pentacles, a very slow moving energy here. Immediate future. Keep in mind there is free will, so this could change at any time. Justice card, card of Libra. Could be dealing with a Libra, it doesn't have to be. I'll clarify what's going on here. Immediate future. We have Five of Cups. Okay, what else, Spirit, what else? We have the Four of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords, okay? There's some kind of argument going on right now or some kind of con competition or conflict happening here where you're having to defend yourself, okay? It could be in a relation to a new love interest. We have the Queen and the King of Pentacles, or Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles in your recent past. This was possibly a new love that you're, or a new cycle with this person. Four of Cups, some kind of disappointment is happening here, okay? This just might be a new love interest that you've recently started dating, or, you know, not very long for, for many of you. Or this could be a new cycle with the same person, this Queen of Pentacles, someone who's very mature and has a handle on their money. They're very independent. We also have a queen of cups energy here, perhaps a mom, a very nurturing energy, but this could be a mom that you um, are in a relationship with here. Okay, there's some disappointment here. 
Okay, we have the Page of Cups. Just feels like, um, I feel like he thought that things were going to be better than they, they actually ended up being. Spirit, what's this Ten of Pentacles about in the current energy? It's a very happy energy here. We have the Seven of Wands. There's conflict going on here in the family. With this Ten, ten of Pentacles here, and then in your immediate future, the Four of Wands, it just some kind of foundation within your family is being tested right now, okay? Things are moving very slow. You would like to have resolution. With this Five of Swords here, there's conflict either in the family or with this person that you're in a relationship with, okay? Um, you have a family with this person, perhaps. Spirit, tell me more about this Seven of Wands. We have the Nine of Swords. There's, you're losing sleep over this relationship, okay? You're losing sleep over this situation in your family or in regards to the stability of your home. It's, it's giving you anxiety, okay? Spirit, what's this Knight of Pentacles about? You just want resolution. You, whatever we're doing here, we need to figure it out is the feeling I'm getting here. Let's make a decision and stop moving so slow. King of Cups. You definitely are tired of the conflict. You want to get to this place where you're um, with this King of Cups that you're tired of the conflict. You just want to have a peaceful existence. You don't want to have any more arguments and insecurities and conflict with this person. It just feels like you're butting heads with this person a lot. This is a very independent individual here who maybe even runs the money in your family um, or in your relationship, someone who takes care of the finances and it, it feels like they're a little bit stubborn. They're conflicting with you on decisions. It's not a, um, it doesn't feel like a partnership where it feels like somebody is calling all the shots. We have the seven of cups and it's possible this person doesn't want you having control over the money because they are buying things without your knowledge or planning things. Just being secretive with the money is a situation I'm kind of gathering here. Yeah, you, may, you guys may have, you know, reconciled in the recent past, but it feels like things are repeating over again with this person. With this Ten of Swords here, it feels like some kind of betrayal happened, okay, or is happening where you found out about how they're taking, either hiding, some, they're hiding their tracks with some kind of purchase with money for many of you, okay? Take that how it resonates. There's a conflict over money here. It feels like betrayal to you because you're supposed to be in a partnership with this person and they took advantage and are, are not being truthful about what they're doing. In the immediate future, we have the Justice card, the Five of Cups, and the Four of Wands. Spirit, tell me more about this Justice card. We have the Eight of Swords, okay? This is a, a cycle that has kept repeating with this person. And with this Justice card coming in here, it looks like... Um, it looks like there's going to be a balance of scales happening here. I feel like this person is going to learn a very valuable lesson. Um, and, you know, I'm not sure that if you're moving on, or you, some of you may stay. Some of you may not continue in this relationship. Some of you may stay. Five of Cups. What's this Five of Cups about, Spirit? Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles. And we have... And we have the Knight of Wands. It just looks like this person, um, it, it feels like this person is, is kind of manipulative towards you, playing you a little bit or treating you not as an equal. It feels like for some of you, they may be even talking with someone else and juggling you, okay? There may be multiple things going on here with hiding their tracks with meeting up with someone. It feels like there's a player energy coming through here who there's some juggling going on. Perhaps they're talking to someone behind your back or, and I'm not trying to say, oh, you need to go talk to this person. They're cheating on you. I'm not I'm trying to say that at all. This might be for just a few of you, but there's definitely this, this man manipulative, like I'm in control kind of energy that's coming through here with this Queen of Pentacles and this Queen of Cups and, and all this conflict happening. It just feels like you don't really have a say in what happens and it's not fair. You don't feel it's an equal give and take in this relationship. You want there to be balance. You want there to be equal give and take. You want, um, with this Five of Cups here, it feels like you're mourning 
a discovery of something. We have the Ace of Cups coming through again, okay? Um, <laughs> it looks like another cycle might be playing out in August where you forgive this person, you guys are back on the right track, and then it happens again, okay? Um, for many of you. Spirit, tell me more about this Four of Wands. This is just a cycle, a never-ending cycle with this person. Wheel of Fortune, okay? It looks like the wheel with the Wheel of Fortune being here with the Four of Wands, okay? There's some kind of... Um, it's like the div the divine is moving this along. If you guys are supposed to be together, you it, it will resolve. If you're not supposed to be together, it will push you towards separating. Is really what I'm sensing here. Let me pull from this Lightseer's deck to get more insight. I've pre-shuffled all these decks, but I'll oh, give it one little shuffle here to kind of get the mojo going. This person could be a twin flame with this four of, four of wands coming up because I just looked at the timer on the video and it said 11-11. So it's possible that this could be a twin flame with this in and out, up and down energy, lots of conflict with this person with this four of pentacles here. Yeah, someone's stingy with the money, trying to hoard the money, not letting you freely, or you could be hoarding the money. <laughs> Take it how it resonates. These energies can flip. Um, Nine of Swords, you're losing s sleep over this. There's anxiety over this relationship, okay? Um, but really, with this rite of passage, crossing the threshold thing situation, it just looks like you're, um, you both are really evolving very quickly. Yeah, the imp Empress. <laughs> this Queen of Pentacles and this Queen of Cups is really getting into this Empress energy, this Divine Feminine energy, which I just... Literally every single reading I've been doing lately has to do with this Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Six of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like for many of you, this is going to resolve. I think this person is going to learn a really hard lesson about treating you this way, like it, treating you like a child, okay, um, is really the sense I'm getting here. They feel mournful and sorry, and they don't want their family to fall apart, okay, Um and, you know, they really could be evolving and changing and, and these cycles of nonstop conflict all the time will finally come to an end for many of you, um, especially if there's ascension happening here. This player energy for some of you, that will end. Okay, Nine of Cups, and this is really a, a wish come true for you. You don't want your family to fall apart. You truly love this person. They love you as well. It's a divine connection. And it's been a, a very long struggle of never-ending cycles. And then we have the judgment card showing up here. Okay. And this is just telling me that, that this is a divinely in, inter, uh, divine intervention is happening on behalf of this relationship. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we have the Wheel of Fortune twice. I didn't even see this popped out. <laughs> Not even sure when it popped out. I'll have to go back and look at it. But, yeah, we have the Wheel of Fortune twice here where um, in this judgment card with divine intervention coming in, it's just like the spirit world is really trying to both progress both of you forward to evolve and come together into a true partnership. There's equal give and take. There's definite remorse here with this nine of swords about how someone has treated you. Um, and yeah, it just, it feels like this conflict is finally going to come to an end and there's going to be balance restored in your relationship. Take that how it resonates because um, this could be for many of you here, this balance in the relationship finally coming to an end with all, all the ending of all the conflict. And perhaps some of the conflict will still keep cropping up, but I feel like that you are both evolving and changing and really this, this whole connection is meant to be. So, um, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of cycles that play out with this person, and they may be becoming more frequent as you two um, start trying to get on the same page. It's like you're you're flowing in a circle like this, where you come together and you come apart, and it's like it's like you have to get away from each other when you're butting heads and just give each other time in between these arguments. Um, yeah, you you want to 